Okay, so this is where we're at. I have, we have the Porsche engine out and I have the K24 engine sitting beside it. And that roughly about the same height, crank position center line wise, and how they would, how it would sit in the engine. And if you can see, the K24 is slightly higher <clears throat> and there really isn't much room in the height wise, at least in the engine bay for the Porsche. So this will be the big hurdle, I think, for putting this engine in. Um, anyway, so what I have here is a K24 Z7. So this is a 2013 Civic Si engine, 2.4 liter. Uh, it's, it's the newer style that has the single exhaust port. <clears throat> The reason, so I'm thinking I want to use this engine because either way, if, if, it, if I can get it to fit, the plumbing and the turbo manifold will be much simpler to use this engine versus say a, a K24 A2, which is the most popular K24. Um, <clears throat> but you can see I've lined it up with the transmission. So it's almost perfectly aligned with the transmission. And what you'll notice is the K24 is technically not even as long as the, as the Porsche engine. So <clears throat> the big thing will be if we can fit it in height wise, because this K24 engine is pretty tall. The other option would be go with a K20 engine, which is slightly shorter. It's almost an inch shorter. And that would probably be almost identical but uh, ideally I'd like to go with the K24 because more displacement equals more torque. Now, I think what we'll do is we got this engine on, on wheels, roll it underneath the Porsche and see how much, uh, so much room we have. So let's give that a try. Okay, all done, installed, ready to go. Uh, so far, this fits really well. Um, lots of room. Lots of room for a turbo on this side. Height-wise, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. And if you look at clearance-wise, the oil pan is in line with the frame. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, it clears the accessory pulley space. There's enough room There's this. behind. Let's see, yeah, like I was concerned that the motor would stick forward more. It's gonna hit, it, unfortunately it will hit the fan. I will have to remove that fan, but Man, this thing, there's tons of space. Okay, well, um, the plan is to use this engine and a Honda S2000 intake manifold or maybe a Skunk 2 Ultra center feed intake manifold. Have a Honda S2000 drive-by-wire intake manifold and it positions the throttle body better. It'll position the throttle body about here. So maybe I will bolt up that intake manifold and see how we're, how we're doing space-wise. But man, this is really good. It's better than I thought. So, so far so good. All right, we've got made up a little dolly system to hold the engine and the transmission. They're basically aligned with uh, a roughly a one inch gap, just to 
make up for the space of the adapter plate. Um, but yeah, so far, so far so good. This is basically gonna be the setup. Um, now, we're gonna line it all up perfectly with the, with the car, center it, and then lower the car into place and see how much, uh, see what we're working with space-wise. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so in with the transmission, we have it basically lined up in the back with the transmission mount back there. It's like nearly impossible to see. But, all right, basically it's it's in with the with the tr transmission. Um, it sits well. It lines up with the rear transmission mount in the back. It doesn't touch the whatever this would be, the top of the engine bay. Um, there's enough ex clearance for the accessories. There's plenty of room for a turbo over here. One thing that's gonna be a problem is accessing the top of the valve cover, I realize. Can't top up oil, but the the solution to that would be uh, a CRV valve cover where the oil cap is about here, I think, which would be totally accessible. And the dipstick is slightly different on the CRV valve cover as well. So be able to get the dipstick out. I think technically I could get it out here. Maybe with a K-tuned different dipstick, I could still get that one out. But this looks super promising. There's tons of space. It even sits like valve oil pan clearance is good. It's equal to what it was before. It's not touching the top of the engine bay. I think I'm in good shape. I think this is definitely doable. Just a bit more test fitting. So I've got so I've got my 2006. S2000 intake manifold on with the 2006 drive-by-wire throttle body. So the plan is to keep the car, well, the car is drive-by-wire, so I gotta keep a drive-by-wire throttle body. So I may use this Honda one, or possibly even just the Porsche, like the factory Porsche one, because it's bigger. Might, I'm not sure how fast the response is on these Honda ones. The, I know the Bosch, the Bosch Porsche throttle bodies are super fast response-wise, so. Um, yeah, but tons of room here. Still room for the accessories. The plan is like definitely have to keep air conditioning. Um, I don't think there'll be enough space for the power steering pump, so I have to probably switch to an electric power steering pump. Um, but yeah. Turbo-wise, there's plenty of space for this turbo. think like PRL and PRL makes an, a, like a, a manifold for these engines and it goes something like that so roughly so I'm thinking maybe I'll grab a PRL exhaust turbo manifold position the turbo in there and then most likely intercooler there's lots of space where the muffler was here if I can fit an intercooler in there or even there's still lots lots of space in here maybe doing it an intercooler in there with some fans on it to get airflow the other option is possibly an intercooler along here I'm not sure I'd have to get rid of the crash bar but depending I'm not sure how much space I have with the bumper but I think it's it's fairly there's a fair amount it just doesn't get any airflow, so that might be an issue. I have to put some fans or cut some holes in the bumper, I don't know. But lots of space. I know the other option is 
some of the turbo kits for 996, 997 have an intercooler that goes across here, which could be a po possibility as well. But so far, so good. So yeah, I guess that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys like this. It's getting super interesting. I'm, in, I'm having fun. I can't wait for the next stage. I think I might order up the adapter plate next so I can start finalizing the dimensions and maybe start making the, the actual mounts to hold the engine in place. And once the engine's in place, then it's just a matter of wiring it up and wiring it up, hooking up the coolant lines and going from there. So I guess that's it for today. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.